Hi Pisces, welcome to Buddy Tarot. This is going to be your Celtic cross reading for the month of August 2023. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. Pisces, I hope you're doing well. And I'd like to thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for your kindness. We'll be doing a Celtic cross and then we'll get clarifiers for each of the cards. So Pisces, starting off the reading, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So there are some changes happening at this time. Um, positive changes mostly. Um, <clears throat> it seems so from the cards. Everything is positive on the table. The Wheel of Fortune is, um, you know, a chapter closing, a change in path, um, life taking over, things that we cannot control. Now, this is crossed by the Hangman, the Hang One. So um, there are some changes happening, but it seems like Pisces, you're not doing much about it. Uh, in your subconscious, you, you know, with the hangman, with the hang one, you're looking at things and the way life is uh, bringing about these changes. You know, this is often observing the, the, the indefinite ups and downs in our lives and the constant ups and downs in our lives and um, maybe you're just observing the nature of life i'm not sure pisces we'll get clarifiers on that in your subconscious we have the ten of wands there's something that's weighing heavily in your subconscious in the past in the recent past we have the page of swords so that's you keeping your distance from something but keeping mental tabs on a situation, perhaps curious about someone or something. In your conscious mind, we have the emperor. So that's you taking charge, taking control, you know, using your experience to your advantage. Very serious. You could be very serious for the month of August, um, Pisces. Uh, in the immediate future, we have the eight of wands. There's some kind of shift that's coming about, if not in the form of uh, communication. It could be an energetic shift. How you see yourself is as the page of wands. So that's you seeing yourself as a, you know, you have a childlike enthusiasm about life. Even though in your conscious mind, you're the emperor and you're getting things in control. But how you see yourself is as the page of wands. So you're excited about something new that you're looking forward to. And this this. This page looks like they're traveling, but this emperor looks like they're kind of stable and seated. So we we'll get clarifiers. Uh, the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of is the Knight of Pentacles. So something is finally working out in the material world. It's starting to come to the surface slowly but surely. Uh, there's positive movement. Uh, in your hopes and fears, you have the Four of Wands. So you're hoping to bring about some stability either by yourself or with a shared dynamic or a certain specific person and in your potential outcome we have uh, the chariot we have we do have the ace of wands underneath the deck so let's clarify each of these cards we'll start with this um, the the wheel of fortune starting off the reading at the heart of the matter what is this change that pisces that you that you're seeing i think we should take this card we have the six of cups the three of wands and the nine of swords so this is to do with the soul connection and there's something that you were looking forward to. You were waiting for with the three of wands as a time. There's a 
timing at play here and it seems like Pisces you waited long enough for something and it's caused you enough stress you know and this is to do with a very significant person from the past perhaps with someone whom you've shared a lot of sweet memories with you know someone who makes you nostalgic and you've been waiting for someone to reach out to you this person from the past and you've been anxious about it but with the wheel here and these cards clarifying the wheel i think there's a shift in that energy i think life events and the way life has been moving is uh, you know you're starting to see with the hanged man crossing this that I'm not sure what you're seeing, we'll clarify, but there's something that you're seeing about the nature of life or about some changes that are occurring when it comes to, you know, you waiting for this connection to show up for you. So what's this hanged one about? Why the hanged man for Pisces crossing the world, sorry, the, the wheel of fortune? So for the hanged one, we get the ten of pentacles, the two of pentacles, and the ace of swords. So there's something to do with a long-term situation with the ten of pentacles, a long-term situation as in something that you and somebody have been involved in for a long time, something that you have been doing because you need to be doing it, you know, because the ten of pentacles is all the material things that need to be handled but with the two of pentacles there's you've been in two minds when it comes to this long-term establishment and it looks like you're getting some clarity and this is coming from you getting you know standing still or suspending yourself and looking at things from a different perspective a new point of view with the hangman and this is helping you gain clarity about what you actually want to do about this Ten of Pentacles situation that has been, you know, this is something that you've already been dealing with. This is a past situation, but there's been some loose ends that you need to tie up. And maybe you've been confused about, you've been multitasking, you know, several things, but now you know what needs to be done. And this is happening because, you know, the wheel is turning and you're starting to see that, you know, Maybe this is what needs to be done in the in the way life is taking you forward. Uh, now, for the Ten of Wands, we have the Three of Swords. The Ten of Wands in your subconscious. We have the Three of Swords, the Hangman again, and the Strength. So these are again cards of holding back, all right? The Hangman and the Strength. It's It's basically, you know, holding back from something and it's getting more and more difficult to hold back from whatever this is that you're holding back from and it looks like with the three of swords this is causing you a lot of heartache in your everyday business like whatever you're do doing you know in your mundane life whether you're working or you're retired at home you know or whether you're a work from home person but with the with the three of swords and the hangman it's like you're suspended you're keeping yourself suspended and to hold yourself back and to think about whatever it is that you're thinking about i think in relation to this ten of pentacles situation is causing you tremendous pain you know with the three of uh, uh, with the um, with the three of swords it's pain and with the strength it's getting more and more difficult for you to hold yourself back and with the ten of wands i think like you're ready to let go there's there's going to be a kind of a shift because that that follows you know the ten of wands follows the ace which is underneath this deck so i'm not sure what this is in connection to but with the three of swords it's a matter of the heart it could be in relation to work or a personal situation but it's something that affects you emotionally and causes you much heartache. There could be separation between you and somebody. Now, in the recent past, we have the Page of Swords. So let's see what that's about. Too many cards, sorry.
So for the page of swords, we get the knight of swords, the six of swords, and the ten of swords. Wow. So that's a lot of mental energy in the recent past Pisces, and that's like kind of difficult for us water signs. Not difficult, it's these these energies are difficult for anybody, the ten of swords. But with the page of swords, I think you were keeping distance from someone, but something happened where you know you move from keeping your distance in the past to charging ahead. I don't know if you charge towards someone as a champion or a rival, but I think you might have charged towards somebody as a rival or you might have confronted some com confronted somebody about something and it might have led to a kind of a heated uh, not a heated but um, a very serious disagreement from which you're trying to move forward now and you know make peace and accept that you know this is over you're trying to accept that something is over. Yeah, I think with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, that clarified this. I think you were waiting for some... I think, Pisces, I get what's going on. I think you were waiting for someone to make a move towards you, come towards you in a certain way. But you might have run out of patience with the three of swords and the nine of swords your anxiety and you know the time that this person took to come towards you in a fashion in which you were expecting them to for whatever maybe not romantically but just as a decent gesture but this person might have not you know showed up and this is related to this ending that happened in the past maybe you're expecting for this person to reach out in a way but you know this has already happened in the past with the ten of swords but you but you're here in the nine again in the current so i feel like pisces i think you're seeing that it's time to move on you know and it's over with the hangman and you know the ace of swords follows the ten so Definitely, there's a new cycle that's starting off. And, you know, even now in your subconscious, it's really difficult for you to hold yourself back from whatever you're feeling. It's difficult for you to hold your, your pain. But it's, it's taking a lot from you to probably keep a straight face at this time as the emperor. So the emperor is known to keep a straight face. So you're trying to be the emperor here, which you are being. But in your subconscious, you're carrying a whole lot of pain. You know? Sorry, I'm holding the deck reverse. So that's the page of pentacles. The ten of wands again. The hierophant. So there is a... You know, you're, you, uh, Pisces, it looks like with the Page of Pentacles, you're trying to put an effort into something. But it's, 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 it's difficult. With the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands, whatever you're trying to put an effort into, I don't know if it's the previous situation that you were engaged in or if it's a new situation, wherever, whatever you're doing as the Page of Pentacles, trying to start afresh or putting in effort again, it's, it's difficult, it's burdensome and, and with the Hierophant, you might feel compelled, Pisces, with the Hierophant to keep things together because of a certain way of programming. Uh, we are all from different countries and cultures and we are programmed by different parents and uh, it's all different for everyone but for this set of Pisces, I think it's, you know, it's like you keep trying to you're trying to put an effort into something, trying to keep it together because of some social structure, religious reasons or spiritual or because it's a higher level commitment. But with the Emperor and the Ten of Wands, that's a lot. 
you have a lot going the, temp the, the emperor anywhere has you know the empire to manage and then then, then and then there's the hierophant and the ten of uh, wands this could also be a child that you're dealing with but the page of wands is usually the child i mean the page of pentacles could just be yourself the page of wands is how you see yourself so you see yourself willing to put in time effort and energy and start afresh excited you know that's how you see yourself which is nice but that's that will happen when you drop this ten of wands you know you can't be the page of wands with the ten of wands because for the page of wands we need to have a childlike excitement about life you need to feel a bit free the emperor hardly ever feels free you could be missing your past days um pisces um we have the six of wands the five of swords the ten of cups and the nine of pentacles So you're finally starting to look at what makes you happy with the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, your happiness and your needs. And you're starting to feel better about it. You know, with the Six of Wands, you're focusing on yourself. But with the Five of Swords, there are moments where you don't feel good because these are feelings that proceed after winning a battle. And sometimes it makes our victory feel hollow. And otherwise this is an energy of self-sabotage so you're getting there you're starting afresh you know you have the page of wands you have the ace of wands here there's there's a new beginning you have two tens here so and i skipped the eight of wands in the immediate future we'll get back to that let's clarify that what is this eight of wands So for the Eight of Wands, we get the Hermit, the Lovers, and the Three of Pentacles. So you're doing some inner work and you're, you're kind of isolating yourself. You're looking at a certain past phase in your life. This is in relation to a very significant person that you dealt with. You know, and it looks like in the immediate future, this connection is coming up again with the Three of Pentacles. There is some potential for collaboration and teamwork between you and this person. But what you're doing with the Hermit is you're looking at the past and you're probably looking at, uh, you know, learning points or things that you can take away from the past to apply it to this connection and make things work in the future. And this is happening very suddenly. This is positive news. I'm glad I clarified this, Pisces. So how you see yourself, you know, now, like from the Hierophant, you know, it's, this is the immediate future where you're taking the learning points. For now, you see yourself as the page of wands, very excited for something new to explore new things. You know, it could be just anything, a new hobby or a new relationship or the same person, anything, just something that excites you. And, Mostly you feel good about it. I think this is to do with your independence that you're focusing on, something that brings you happiness. But there are moments where you feel like, is this victory worth it, you know? Now, the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of is the, is the Knight of Pentacles. So for the Knight of Pentacles, we get the Four of Swords, the Two of Cups and the Five of Cups, uh, the Five of Wands and the king of swords so there is an energy around you and uh, it looks like this person is at a distance from you taking a break now you must know that whatever you feel in regards to this person the person feels the same for you the feelings are mutual and if you feel conflicted about this person then the, the person this person feels conflicted about you as well if you're trying to co control this situation as the king of swords if you're trying to control you know your feelings the person that you're dealing with is also doing the same but you know with the knight of pentacles there is someone in your environment who loves you if not you know feelings has deep feelings and it's mutual but they're at a distance with the five of wands you and this person could be in touch but trying to take a break and with the king of swords definitely there's distance or you know 
someone's trying to control their feelings in the situation and with the knight of pentacles is a slow moving energy this is moving slowly and uh, you know maybe good things there is a positive movement towards this maybe you know if this five of wands this conflict and this king of swords energy of controlling if it's addressed then there will be positive movement now in the potential outcome we have the chariot so let's see what the chariot is about so for the chariot we have the nine of cups the page of cups and the ace of cups wow so that's a lot of love you're back in your element from the past where it was all swords in the potential outcome it's all cups where you know how you see yourself as the nine of pentacles the potential outcome nine of cups where you're going to be very happy and the nine and the page add to the ten you're moving towards your happiness you know and potentially new love i think this ace of cups is a new love that's coming your way we did have the lovers somewhere that started off the reading uh, it's buried underneath here i think but yeah it's right here the lovers so um you know um this is there in your energy regardless you know there's there's some clarity that you know i said you had this with the hermit you had the hermit the lovers and the three of pentacles and it looks like you're looking at the past and all the mistakes you made and now this connection that shows up, you're applying this towards teamwork. And this was there in your immediate, immediate future, clarifying the eight of wands. So this means it's going to happen very quickly. And, you know, with the chariot here, and suddenly, you know, this nine and the page, a new admirer that's showing up, or you admiring somebody, and the ace of cups, this is new love, I feel, Pisces. I think the universe is giving you a break um so pisces this is what i have for you i hope this helped thank you for watching sharing liking and subscribing i'm truly grateful for your kindness i will catch you again soon later bye